Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see the concept of SSAS KPIs. So for this purpose, uh, let us go to this cube that we have developed in our earlier video tutorial. This is the same cube that we had developed in our last video tutorial. Now in this cube, let us go to the KPIs tab. Okay. So right now there are no KPIs present, right? So let us define new KPI, but uh, first of all, let us see which are the measures, right? So there are two measures groups, right? Internet sales and reseller sales. So we will define KPIs based on reseller sales amount. Okay. So let us go to KPIs. Let us click new KPI. Now there are four parts to KPIs. Let us rename this reseller sales progress. So we will measure the progress of reseller sales using this KPI. Now there are actually four parts to four important parts to the KPI. Okay. So first is the value, which is the main value based on which you want to measure everything. So over here we will say that we want to measure everything based on reseller sales amount. Okay. What is the goal? Uh, goal can be anything uh, right now let us just write a sample value let's say real reseller sales amount plus 50 lakhs okay so this is a sample value okay now so that is the goal expression this is the value and this is the goal third is status and fourth is trend these are, some four, these are the four important things for defining a KPI. You can still define a few more things like uh, the time member, the weight and all. But right now let us focus on the first four things that is value, goal, status and trend. So for status let us again have the re reseller sales amount. Now what we want to say in status is uh, whether the status is good, whether the status is bad or whether the status is okay. So for this, let us define a So this is a case statement that we have written. Okay. So what we want to say is if the reseller sales amount, okay, if the reseller sales amount, let's say is greater than two crore. So it is is two crores. Okay. So if the reseller sales amount is greater than two crore, then we are fine with it. We will term that status as good represented by one. If the same reseller sales amount, let's say if it is less than two crore, then let us say that this sales amount is not good. So it is minus one represented by minus one and else it is zero. Okay. So we can check the syntax also index is okay. Now, in the same way, let us define trend. What is trend? Trend means comparison with the past values, whether we are, whether the value is increasing or whether the value is decreasing, right? So, we want, so let us have a case statement over here also. Then it is 1, when something happens, then it is minus 1 else it's zero and okay so this is a simple case statement that you have written now one will indicate increasing trend minus one will increase will indicate decreasing trend and zero will indicate a uh, linear trend that is something which remains constant the trend which remains constant so let us define that if the reseller sales amount okay is For this, we'll take consider, we'll have to consider the previous 
value okay previous year sales amount value so we are putting a combine between and then over here we will say that due dates calendar year okay dot p r e v m e m b e r previous member that is if the reseller sales amount for the previous year okay is is if let's say it is less than the current reseller sales amount okay so if the previous year's amount was less than the current year's amount that means we are we have increased the sales right so that will indicate by plus 1 now let us copy this right let us copy this okay and let us paste it over here and if the previous year's sales amount was greater than the current year's sales amount that is current year's sales amount has reduced then we will indicate as minus 1 that is the trend is decreasing else it's zero if it remains the same then it's zero right so again let us check the syntax syntax is successful let us save everything let us deploy okay so we are deploying this kpi okay now let us go to cube browser let us reconnect now first of all let us just observe the values first of all let us have reseller sales amount across the years okay so let us go to calendar year and let us observe what is happening in the values so for the first year it is around 80 lakh so it is less than 2 crore value that you have specified in the kpi right is less than 2 crore okay for the second year it is greater than 2 crore as it is 241 lakh that is 2 crore and 41 lakhs for the third year it is 3 crore and 22 lakhs so these two values are positive when compared to 2 crores and the first and the last value are negative because this is 1 crore and 60 lakhs so first and last value are less than 2 crore whereas the middle two values are greater than 2 crore okay so the status so the status is so as per this case statement the status will be positive for the negative for the first and the last rows and will be positive for the second and third rows similarly for trend now this value has increased for 2009 value has increased so it should be plus 1 for 2010 the value has increased so it should be plus 1 but for 2011 the value has decreased so the value should be minus 1 right so let us now save everything let us now get the kpi okay we can also view only the kpi value we can drag and drop the kpi so it shows the actual value it shows the goal okay it is plus 50 lakhs okay and then it shows one because there is it, it doesn't compare this data with any previous year right now if we add calendar year to it then we can have all these comparisons so we have the years over here we have the actual values all four values of sales over here then goal is nothing just we have added a dummy value a sample value plus 50 lakhs okay but over here it is very important see uh, the status and the trend the status is negative for first and last rows and it is positive for second and third rows as we had discussed earlier similarly for the first 3 years the trend is increasing and for the last year the trend is decreasing as the sales has sales have reduced so this is exactly as we wanted right now the important thing over here is in this browser which is like a development environment we don't see these things like let's say we have these shapes right and the arrow marks so we, we don't see such things over here because this G, the gui over here doesn't support it but we can view all these things that is we can view the shapes that is this indications this values in terms of shapes and arrow marks if we go to a rich browser 
okay so excel is a kind of rich browser so let us view this cube in excel let us enable it so now if we go to kpis see the kpis are now added okay because we had deployed the cube so let us add these four things so we can see the values these are all summary values for all the years combined together and if we add the year let's say we go here this is the calendar year let is let us add it at rows right so now we can see all the four years their corresponding sales values right the gold values which are nothing but just 50 lakhs plus the sales values 50 lakhs added to the sales values and over here the important things our kpis are showing in as per the uh, as per the signs that we had indicated right so the first and the last row are negative because they are less than 2 crore and middle two rows second and third rows are positive because they are more than 2 crore as per the status and for the trend we can see that the first second and third year is showing increasing trend whereas the last year as the sales has reduced it is showing decreasing trend okay so i hope friends this video tutorial on ssas kpis is useful to you thank you